thank you for watching with Viv Tarot and I know last week I didn't upload a video that's because I was a little busy <laughs> but one of the viewers actually recommended this um, topic because she was trying to figure out if she should choose between her twin flame versus her soulmate and so uh, instead of making it something that specific I made these today the pick a card a little bit more general so it could be any decision that you want to make um, but it's it's going to be love related relationship related okay and so if you're trying to decide between a person a or a person b um these are the cards okay so you could choose pile one two and three um and then within each pile there's a person a person b so you can assign um whichever person that you want for you know the left hand versus the right hand pile and but also i was thinking that you can also if for example pile a person b for example resonated with you a little bit more and then the other person you actually chose pile two and on the left hand side that will work as well okay so but you know instead of actually doing one two three four five six different choices i do want to pair them like that just in case you actually pick pile one and then you just assign your person left left hand person right hand person okay person a person b and so uh whichever way that works for you it's you can do whatever you want okay so this is timeless um so make your pick however if you want to do pile one pile two and pile three or you want to do like three a and two b that will work too okay so if you need to pause the video do that and i would actually in the timestamp below i will do uh, pile one person a pile one person b the different timestamps for each of the persons when i actually start talking about them um i might actually intermingle a little bit but in general, I will try to keep it so that it's A, complete, and then B, a complete description, okay? So, without further ado, let's go into pile number one. So, for pile number one, um, your person A, okay? So, whoever you assigned um, for this left-hand pile, you got... Um, so the Letterman cards, I actually did it so that it's, it's um, sh should you choose person A or person B? So the Letterman is going to be more of like, yes, choose this person. Um, and then the tarot cards would be like the advices, okay? And then I also have the these two Oracle decks that um, if we feel the need to do some drawing additional cards, um, we'll do that as well. So the first card is the garden, and then the fish, and you got nine of wands, and you got the star reversed. The Lenderman cards, we don't read reversals, that's why I flipped them around, um, but the fish did come in reverse. So, uh, for the garden, I think garden is like a neutral energy, and then the fish is actually um, um, a positive energy okay so uh, what for this person that you are inquiring about um, I think this person actually feels a little bit uh, you know the fish actually represents like financial abundance and that kind of thing so they feel like pretty abundant um, and then it also means there's a lot of something and the garden is all about the parties about social about going out and um, teamwork reunion exec uh, events and celebrations so there's probably a lot of partying so your person probably enjoys partying a lot um, going out a lot meeting a lot of people they're very very social um, probably have a lot of choices as well because they go out and meet a lot of different people all the time and so this person might just be very very maybe this is the reason why you're feeling a little bit 
insecure because they have all these choices that I can't that they can be with or be together and they probably do have a lot of people um, liking them um, maybe pursuing them as well so a lot of like um, temptations too you know because you actually the more people you meet the more like you don't want to settle because you always feel like there's the next best thing right and so that's probably making you a little bit more insecure about this per particular person because I this is more like this person gives me the feeling of like a social butterfly okay um, and uh, so the the nine of wands so these are the advice for this um, this person um, like for you about this person I should put it that way so the nine of wands is all about like being on a defense looking out for stuff and the star being reversed the star is always about um, dreams uh, att attaining things um, and so like being on a defense so you're actually I feel like you probably are feeling a little bit um, you want to so you're you're actually observing this person a little bit because you don't feel like you could fully trust this person due to the fact that they're so like social they have a lot of people after them and so like you don't really know if you want to invest that much into this person because they might show interest but at the same time you feel like do they also show interest like you know do the same kind of things that they do to you or say the same kind of things that they say to you to other people as well so you're a little bit on the fence I think and um, and so this is kind of like a stalling stalling energy because you're just like staying and like see how this person is like a little bit like there's that band-aid on the head and that kind of thing so um, usually in other decks this person has like it's a little bit injured you know and so like you just feel a little hurt so you don't want to move forward just yet and um, but you you still you're still hopeful right you still feel like maybe this person will change or maybe this person does treat you a little bit differently than the other people okay so the star is I drew it as a, as a supporting um, advice for this card and so the star coming in reverse um i feel like this you um again the, that reserve energy and you don't feel like you know this person well enough because even if it's you know upright the star is really far away like unattainable right and so you feel this person is a little bit away from you a little bit distant from you so like you don't feel like you're very close to them and so maybe this person hasn't opened up completely to you and so you really like the star being reversed is about uh, you know stepping back and just observe a little bit kind of like resonated with this uh, nine of wands energy okay um and uh and maybe also the fact that it's a little bit maybe you guys are more like friends so the sexual attraction the chemistry isn't super strong okay there is some but you know maybe because you're on the fence about it so let's take a look at um, person B okay so the person B you got anchor the star um, the Star and Lenderman card is a little bit different from the Tarot card, um, but they're similar. Let's do this. So this is that. Um, and then you got the Three of Heart, I mean Three of Swords reversed. And then the Judgment. So this is to support this card. Okay, like a little. But these are the advice for you about this relationship, about this person, and this is this person's energy kind of thing and so the star and the anchor are both positive energy so right away if you are uh comparing person a and person b the person b might be a little bit better choice for you 
um, just based off of the cards. And also, um, the Three of Swords, sometimes like reversals is about blockage and that kind of thing, but over here, I really want to say, just because the Judgment card, okay? Because sometimes like, this is a Three of Hearts, Three, three of hearts, three of swords being reversed. They sometimes are interpreted as being like chaotic and you're still like in that sorrow and you're, you can't get out of it, you know? Um, but over here, based on this card, I would want to actually, you know, interpret this card as like, you're coming out of that sorrowness of coming out of like a maybe a previous bad relationship. You're not being hurt as much. The sword is going to drop out of it. Um, and see how like the the black clouds is coming uh is on the bottom so it's slowly fading away and um this person is a little bit more uh i want to say so anchor is all about stability okay and stars is about like um clarity about tolerance about being dreams coming true okay about guidance about divine energy in the Letterman cards. And so like, I think this person B is is a lot more stable than this person. But the thing is like, you know, sometimes you would look at it as like stable might also be a little bit boring. So like, maybe you have a lot of fun with person A because this person is very social, very funny, very humorous because they social, they, they have a lot of like people that like them. So, but then this person, um, is a little bit more stable. They might be on the boring side sometimes, you know, and um, But they are very harmonious. Okay, um, and They might even be a little bit psychic sometimes like you might when you are together sometimes they can actually Feel your energy so they they're a lot more tentative to your feelings um, So, you know, I think and both of these actually have the meaning of hope in it. And uh, this one has that safety feeling. So like when you are with this person, you probably feel a little bit more safe. And also this person is a lot more attentive to your feelings. And um, I'm almost thinking for pile number one people, if you're, you actually assign a person A and B in this pile, then um, I'm almost thinking you're, you're leaning towards this person but just because this person is a little bit more fun, probably this person is super good looking, so you're just like, ah, you know? And um, so I think you're coming out of like a bad relationship, and um, this judgment, uh, judgment card sometimes is about, um, you know, making a decision, okay? It's about promises. So this person is very stable, and they do, um, they don't, they actually, they don't um, just say things. They actually really value the things that they say. So if they say that they're gonna do something, they will do it, like a promise of something, right? And um, this person is probably pretty decisive, okay, based off of this. And, um, and then maybe uh, there is like some kind of a decision that, you know, you, you feel like it's time to make a decision maybe because this this kind of like chaotic kind of thing that you're trying to figure out has been dragging on for a while and so you're feeling like you want to make a decision so you don't want to come keep going back and forth between these two people and um and you like i said i feel like you have you pretty much have decided which person that you want to go with and most likely it's this person um but maybe you're just watching this video just to make sh just want to be sure like gosh that is um whatever i'm feeling is the right feeling right um so that is what i feel about uh pile number one's two people and um So that's what I feel. And also, oh, see how they're both like, um, you both have, uh, both people showed up with the Major Arcana card. Um, but um, this one is uh, 
upright position and this one is reversed. So I feel like that also say a little bit of, um, of a, some kind of a, a, a sign, okay? That maybe this person would be a better fit um, if you are looking for something more stable, something more long-term, this has that long-term feeling. And also because this is the 20, the one, the one step before that, the world card, okay? So you're getting very close to that end of um, completion, a cycle. So if you were to ask the card which person that you want to choose, the card's advice is um, probably person B, okay? Um, but of course, this is still up to you. <laughs> and let's see if, um, let's do, let's draw um, a card for each of the, these people. We'll do one of each, okay? So that's for person number A, uh, for person A, um, what does the cards have to say? There's no need to worry, but it came out in reverse for this person. And then so for person B, what are some advices for person B? No. Um, interesting i feel like if maybe the no is not that this is not the right person but perhaps you are geared towards the person a um but however it resonates with you okay this is no need to worry but uh, reversed and this is no um. I could feel like you, for whoever the per pile number one people, you're very conflicted just because even though you feel like this this is the right person, you really want to choose this person and you know, that kind of thing. Because this is a no with an exclamation mark. So this is pile, uh, this is person A's advice. Okay, so it's a retreat. And person B's advice. this flew out past life relationship okay so this is what i feel for this so this person is a social butterfly and so it, the thing is about it's time to disconnect from the world and it's about so i i have that feeling that you know if you can actually get some alone time with this person really talk it out and see um you know figure out what this person really want um maybe you will be able to um choose this person but you i i really feel like you might need to talk to this person a if he, a is really the, your heart's desire okay but um for person b this person might be a little boring maybe not really your type um but this person is you know is a marriage material and you do have a past life relationship you've known each other before so like as i was saying this person is very in tune and um, about your feelings and that kind of emotions and so um, and so uh, you actually feel really comfortable with this person but this person is not ex as exciting as person a okay so that is what I get for pile number ones person a and person B and if you actually chose your second person or third person in a different pile We'll, we'll stay tuned, okay? We'll go into pile number two, person A and B right now. All right, so if this resonates with you, um, let me know in the comments below. And you can always, um, you know, ask for like a personal reading or something like that. But, um, and don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.
So for pile number two, your person A is, so um, as I was saying, we don't, I don't, Lenderman cards are not supposed to read reverse, so I'm gonna flip these around. Um, the writer actually came in reverse. Um, these two, it's uh, Eight of Swords upright and then the Hangman um, reversed. I know it looks like it's upright, right? Nope, it's reversed. So the tarot cards are advices for you about this person and the Lenderman cards are uh, what this person is like and should you choose this person versus the other person, okay? Um, so first of all, for this person that you are inquiring about, um, I would, the writer is always about like a new uh, messenger. It's, this person is probably pretty good looking. Um, so <laughs> very athletic. So if that is the type of person that you are attracted to, um, that's your, this person is probably like that, uh, most likely like that. And um, the moon is all about um, dreamy, dramatic, emotional, seductive, also very attractive. So you, this person is very attractive. At least they're very attractive to you, right? Because beauty is very subjective. Um, this person might also be kind of famous, very, very artistic, very seductive. So you feel very, very attracted to this person. And also this person, um, has this feeling of like very like this mysterious feel uh feel to you so maybe they don't reveal a lot about themselves um and uh this person is also very sensitive very um might even be a little psychic um meaning that uh they sometimes you know you feel like they know exactly how you feel that kind of thing because they would say things you're like oh my god that's exactly what i was thinking you know so you have that that attraction to them you just feel like oh my god this person must be my soulmate because they could read my mind you know um so this person is very athletic but um but I, because they're on a horse so i almost feel like they're probably is not a very patient type of person they're very hasty um and they come and go as they wish okay because you know Good looking people, that's what they do, right? They have a lot of people that they like, um, or that are attracted to them as well. So that is um, this person to you. And so for the advice um, over here, it's, if you're familiar with Hero, the Eight of Swords is all about like you, um, you're scared to make a move. There's some fear, like the the rope is actually loosely tied around you, so it's all in your head. Um, so I think you're very scared to make a decision because you feel like maybe you're not good enough for this person because this person is so attractive um, that you're like, gosh, I don't know. It's is it, why would they be interested in me, right? And how long will this relationship last? Because maybe they will just, after they get me, then they might just move on and I'm gonna be stuck and be alone all by myself and be depressed, right? And so I feel like that is that energy that you're, you are experiencing right now. And, um, and maybe also because this person is so, um, attractive a lot of the people are your friends and family are probably telling you like you know this person is out of your league maybe you shouldn't choose you shouldn't be with this person you should be choose somebody who's more like on the same level as you so there's a lot of obstacles coming out coming from your surrounding people as well and maybe I also like just just came to my mind that maybe there's a big um, age difference so especially if you're female and you're older and you're dating a younger guy even though it's not that big of a deal nowadays but still you know I think for females dating younger guys you always have that fear that they're gonna go for the younger girls in the future when you get older right and what if they want kids and you can't 
give them kids anymore because you're a lot older than them, that type of thing. So there's that fear in you about, and that uncertainty, um, you know, about the future, what the future will hold between the two of you. Um, and, and you just feel like, Maybe you're not making the right decision, but you, but then again, it's really hard for you to walk away from this person because you are so attracted to them, right? Like I was saying, you feel like this person really understands you, they could read your mind and you really connect in every way, okay? Um, but if, you know, for guys, I don't feel it as much that you're dating super young women because, you know, um, I don't think, society nowadays there's that big of a problem with older men dating younger girls but um but definitely um if you're female dating a younger guy and if that is the case um you that you have that fear um but if you're about the same age you know um you're you're still have that worry that this person is so attractive out of your league still have that kind of same fear that they won't want to be with you they're gonna get tired of you pretty soon and they want to go and explore other options right um and so over here the hangman the, the second card always supports when i draw two cards i always have the second card support the first card to get additional information so the handman coming um uh the hand handman uh man um in reverse is it's heaven is all about seeing things from a different perspective but you're coming back around because this is looking because this is the upright position right so you're seeing things from a different perspective but now you're flipped around so you're actually back to seeing things the way that how everybody sees it and so you actually do care about what other people think of you and of this relationship and so like really like others people's opinions like super important to you and maybe that's why you feel trapped because you care about how other people see you and um and and also you feel like you've probably sacrificed a lot in this relationship and um you are maybe giving a little bit more than this other person uh or maybe this other person is saying that to you like i feel like you're really attracted to me you know and 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 um so that fear also just because you feel like you're not a challenge to them anymore so you feel like they're probably gonna walk away from you at any minute any time um and so but at the same time you feel like you don't want to just Give it up like that you want to do your best you want to live in the moment right um and if that is the way it is then you know if this person will leave you eventually you you probably feel like all right fine you know because i actually tried and um you ha i have no regrets so it does have that kind of feeling because the hammond is all about sacrificing right and you're coming back around so you're ready to go to move forward to come back down and um and just to see how this will how this relationship will go so that is what i see for person a right now and so let's see person b so we could have a better comparison um so this person B is, you got the clover leaf, you got the anchor, um, you got the, the queen of swords in reverse, and you got the three of pentacle in reverse. Okay. So for this person B, they're very very stable they're very anchored down they're looking for something serious and clover is all about um good luck is about um so it's about hold on give me one second just have to 
Um, it's about, so the anchor is about stability, having something very stable, and the clover is about um, like small luck, about humor. So this person is probably very humorous and very, very, um, also very spontaneous, right? Carefree type of person. And um, this is, clover is like something, it's like a small type of luck. So it's not like something that's huge. Um, and this person is probably pretty lucky. They always could get whatever they want. Um, as far as like good looking goes, I feel like this person is, person A is probably uh, better looking than person B, but the thing about person B is that they're very humorous, they're very funny, and at the same time, they're very grounded, okay? So you do like that stable type of um, energy and um, very loyal, okay? Hardworking, confident. So this person is very confident and very, very, like, uh, they might be very fun to be around with, um, and they're very... Uh, like maybe um, like a comedian or they do like stand up or something like that, okay? That they're, they just make you laugh. When you're with them, they, they make you laugh, okay? Versus person A is just very attractive and you have this mental connection and they could read your mind. Um, as far as like making you laugh, probably person B does it does a better job. So I could see why you know pile number two people. If this is if you actually chose pile two only and you have a person A and person B, it's gonna be really hard to choose between the two of them because one person makes you laugh and the other person is good looking and you have a mental and possible and physical physical attraction. And so over here is the Queen of Swords, but it came out in reverse because Queen of Swords is very, very good, um, very, very sharp thinker, uh, is a very sharp thinker. She, um, she's uh, also very witty with her words, but then it's coming out in reverse. That means like there are some things that you are not telling this person, okay, your person B, and um, you actually keep a, lot, a little bit of your emotions inside and and like your real you probably tell person a a lot more things than you would tell person b but person b is really good at making you laugh okay but um as far as like communication goes person a is probably at the better you feel closer to but um over here person b you just feel like um you just you have you couldn't really trust see both of us you have trust issues right you're always feeling like you are not good enough and so for both of them you're just like why are they attracted to me and why and they're both attracted to me it's like gosh who should i choose and um so you have this worry inside of you but you don't feel like you could tell this person as much because maybe because they're joking all the time so you just feel like gosh um if you tell them what you actually feel, you feel like they're gonna make a joke out of it, and 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 you're gonna feel like like a loss of connection be with the the person because they they you feel like they made fun of you, but that that might not be the intention for part uh, for person B, but it's just the way that they um, deal with things. Um, they're always on the optimistic side. They're very, very happy. They're um, positive type of thinker, you know, versus over here, the moon. They're a lot more deeper, deep thinker, um, a lot more observant, maybe in some ways. Not, you know, comedians are very uh, conserv con um, observant as well. Um, and, and, you know, when you make people laugh like humorous person, they are very smart and very observant too, but you, it's just the feeling that you get is like, oh my gosh, because they're always joking about things and they're so optimistic. Like you don't wanna tell them all these like negative thoughts of yours because they're just gonna tell you, ah, oh, don't worry about it. Everything's gonna work out. And that's not something that you wanna hear, right? Sometimes you just want somebody to be like, I understand, um, I feel you. Um, Let's work through this problem together. Just like somebody who's just a, a little bit more mellowed instead of just kind of breeze through. It's like, ah, it's life, you know, ha ha ha. That type of 
energy, but this person do make you laugh. Um, like the laughter helps you get rid of that negative thoughts temporarily, but it doesn't really get rid of that problem, that source that's worrying you, okay? So I feel that's the reason why you're not telling them a lot of things, but you do think about a, a you, you're a thinker, you think about a lot of things. And then so the three of um, pentacles is all about like teamwork, working together, but it came out in reverse, okay? So the reverse so means that, um, you, again, that you don't feel like you can tell them everything. It, it is like a teamwork type of things and you, you, you want, it's like a beginning stage of things and, um, and, and you're still observing this person a little bit more just to see if you are really compatible with each other. So that's why like you're not telling a lot of things to this person. So like just from the cards itself, um, I feel like you're probably leaning more towards person A, even though you're super scared that this person is gonna just like dump you. And this is probably like a safer bet for you um, because at least they make you laugh. So you, you know, sometimes like some people they don't go with their first love, they go with the second choice because the second choice, that means you don't love this person as much and this other person loves you a little bit more and you feel safer that way. Versus like, so I almost feel like that kind of energy where person A is somebody is like your first love and then this is like your second choice, but, you, um, but you're scared that you're gonna get hurt with this person that you really, really love and so you might wanna go with this a safer choice um but then at the same time you feel like it's not enough like you're you're unsatisfied like this person will you're you're leaning towards a little bit more so like uh, i don't know for pile number two this is a hard decision if i'm like stuck see for me i would probably go with the first love like kind of what i said you know uh you would just go ahead and do it and you want to live in the moment right um but deep down inside you're like maybe i should go with this safer choice what if like we go on together and then and then nothing i'm gonna end up with nothing right that fear of unknown so let's just see what uh, we're, we'll draw like a card from each of these for each of the people it's just so um so we could get a little bit of maybe advice that just flew out um so but I haven't asked any questions. So, so what is person A, the romantic um, advices for person A? out in reverse it's about engagement so i feel like you're probably a little bit disengaged right now you know because of that fear but um it's that blockage it's there is so if you can step out of this fear don't let your decision base out of fear you will be able to turn flip this energy around and it's it's it will be an engagement it says your love life is sending to a higher level of commitment okay that's for this person and so i feel like there's a great potential with person A. Let's see person B. Let's see person B. What are some advices? Whoa. I guess that's the one. Person B is unrequited love. <laughs> and I don't feel like the unrequited love is from you. It's for the other person this person definitely likes you more than you like them it's definitely your second choice so the unrequited love is on their side because you feel more geared toward person a for sure so um let's see for person a oh that just flew out meditation brings answer that's for person a person b the situation will improve 
you know, okay, so meditation will bring answers. So maybe it's telling you to meditate a little bit more. I feel like it's about you getting out of this self limiting belief. So maybe you need to meditate and really like think about what you really want and, and have no regrets if you do go with person A. And over here, the unrequited love is about this person that you're inquiring about. They really do like you more than you like them. And um, the situation will ring proof because over here, like you remember over here, it's about observing. You're still observing this person because I feel like maybe you don't know this person as well as this person. Um, so if you give it a chance, if you actually decided that you want to go with person B, maybe you will slowly start to fall for this person a little bit more because the situation will improve, meaning that you will start to trust this person a little bit more and more because they do give you that stable, safe feeling because this person is a very grounded type of person, even though they joke around all the time. But I think when you get to know them, a little bit more you'll find that they are a very grounded type of person but as far as like a attractiveness or chemistry probably this is a better choice right because they're a lot more good look a lot yeah a lot more good looking than this person but um so i know i did not give you a very good answer because it's um the card doesn't really say but uh, this is so, my gut feeling for pile number two people is that you're gonna choose with pile, person A. But I don't think person B is a bad choice at all. Um, but you, the viewer, you definitely like person A a lot more. And personally, I would always go for the person I like more. But that's just me right if you like the person that make you laugh a little bit more your second choice and i completely understand that as well but um as far as chemistry go i would really think this is it because um but the thing is you really for this for this person a relationships to work you really can't think about the future you have to live in the moment and if if it doesn't work out, you you just have to have that mindset that it's okay, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna be too caught up with what if this person don't like me? And like that type of mindset is very destructive, okay? So if you actually keep feeling like you're not good enough for this person and that you're fearing this person will leave you eventually, I, I would actually recommend you go with person B because um, if you have that kind of mindset, it, the relationship will not last, even if you choose A. If you always feel like you're not good enough, this person's gonna leave me, then you become very, you get, you get probably very, you get irritated very easily, you get jealous very easily, you become very controlling of the other person, and that's not a good way to be in a relationship, okay? So um, if you do go with person A, you definitely need to not be any of the things that I just mentioned and like really have that confident in yourself that you know if this person is gonna leave you then oh well that's their loss right if um if you cannot get out of that type of um if you're gonna always feel like you're not good enough and fearing that they're gonna leave you maybe person b is a better choice okay because you probably won't get hurt as much with person b so that's what I see for pile number two is person A and person B. And if you actually choose other piles um, as one of your persons and this and one of the person is in this pile, that's what I see. Uh, so uh, let me know how this resonates with you. You can leave in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. So for pile number three people, your left hand side person, you got the mouse, the mice, 
the house. Okay, so the Letterman cards, we don't read reversals, so that's why I'm flipping them around. And the tarot cards are advices. So these are, the Letterman cards are about the person that you're inquiring about, and these are advices for you about this person. Um, so you got the Temperance upright, and you got the Two of Pentacles upright. Okay. So, for this person that you are inquiring about, um, the house is all about stability, foundation right domestic inside and you got the mice which is not the greatest card it's a negative card okay so this one is a neutral card and so there is some kind of decaying inside of you or inside this not you this person this person has something that you are not aware of okay so there's something like rotten inside of them they have like they they have like maybe anxiety or stress that they're not telling you about like they might look really really like chill on the outside but deep down inside they have all these insecurities about themselves okay and they're pretty they might be pretty messed up deep down inside um and worry and they might be very picky as well um type of person uh and they also i i have a feeling that may they maybe like to stay inside a lot too they're more like a homebody type of person. Um, so they definitely have some kind of a security, self-confidence type of issue, perhaps. Okay. And um, so for temperance over here, it's about working as a team, right? It's about balancing two things and not going over to one extreme over the other. And so the advice for you about this person is that um, you're, you're, you're probably on the conservative side and um, you do, you value like communication about this person. So most likely you know about this, their dark side, their dark, seek deep, dark secrets of, about them, you know, that they're not telling anybody um, because maybe you guys talk a lot and they probably trust you too. Um, and Two of Pentacles is all about like juggling between two things and there's that infinity. So there is like an infinite possibility uh, with this relationship to go on. And um, I, this almost remind. look at this and this, like it almost looks very similar, okay? And um, so I just feel that um, and there is some like emotional and mental like um, going back and forth with this person. So you do feel pretty connected to this person, but at the same time, you're wondering also if there is a better choice for you. If this person, like I think you're, you're very, unsure about this person just looking from this card about this person you're unsure about this person even though yes you know all about their dark secrets maybe because you know all about their dark deep their anxiety and their problems and their whatever sickness they might have like depression or whatever um you're trying to figure out if that is something that you want to deal with because in the long run, maybe right now, because you love this person a lot, you're like, okay, it's fine. But in the long run, is that something that you can deal with for ever, right? Um, so, however, right now, like I was saying, it's not a one-sided thing that you're just the one that's giving, giving. The other person actually is reciprocating, as I was saying, like they tell you things, right? So you feel really close to this person. And um, so that's what I see. I know it's super short and I, all the other ones I talk on and on forever, but this is pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at the person B for pile number three. Okay, so you got uh, the cross over here, the challenge, uh, which means challenge or, you know, and you got the birds and there's the six of swords and the six of pentacles. So there, there's like the uh, synchronicity over here. I promise I did not see, I drew them out like just, I shuffled, drew them out separately and this came out. 
Um, so, to the Lenderman card is about person B. It's about, um, bird is all about like verbal communication, about talking out loud. Um, and, and it has that nervous energy too, very curious. So this person, person B is a little bit more curious. They might be a little bit more, uh, social or a little bit more exciting than person a um although you do get the 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 cross and the cross is all about like grief about hardship about pain about difficulty about despair sorrow regrets disappointment fear and all that stuff but then there's also it's about fate okay so um i mean the birds if there's too much chatters it also give you that stressful and nervous feel as well, okay? Um, that busy rumor type of things. And so I feel like for pile number three, your person is actually like dark, gosh, both of them. Um, they have like, they carry a lot of baggage, I feel like, because this is the cross. It's about baggage, about challenges, right? Um, and I almost feel like maybe this person also have like some problems too. Um, but they are very communicative as well, just like this one. So you guys talk about things all the time. So you actually feel pretty connected to both of them. And I almost get the feeling that you really couldn't decide on either of them because you're very good friends with this person and you're very good friends with this person too. And you don't want to hurt either of them. Oh, that's like a horrible feeling. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> that, you know, if you choose one or the other, the other person's going to feel hurt. And especially they have all these insecurities and these like baggage, uh, about like opinions about themselves, like negative opinions about, th about themselves that, you really worry if you tell them, hey, I'm gonna like see somebody else, this person might not be able to handle it very well. Although over here on this side is about, um, if this is Six of Swords, it's about moving away from like things that don't serve you anymore and it's going towards a better place. And also this Swords is all about like thinking, about um, communication, right? Um, so it, there, there's probably a lot of problems, but both of you are trying to solve the problems together and then you're heading towards the same direction, right? Look at them. They're going towards the same direction and let, and also letting one person doing the steering instead of both person doing the steering because you might go separate ways. And so this person is doing the steering and going towards the, the way that uh, the same goal that you guys talked about and um the only thing is like you also wanted to keep it on the down low like a low key type of thing because you feel like if this relationship is known to other people you might get a lot of like people telling you things that that's gonna hurt the relationship because then it'll put a lot of like ideas in your head that oh my god this is not the right person this is a bad person for me that type of thing so um right now you guys are actually do are keeping it pretty low-key and six of um pentacles is all about give and take and so it's equal give and take and so it feels like you might actually one person sometimes might feel like, oh, I, I'm, I'm giving a lot more than the other person. And so you feel like you're doing all the work and the other person is not doing the, all that work. And so you feel a little bit unbalanced, like temperance, right? A little bit about balance, unbalanced. Or you feel like the other person giving you things or, or you giving the other person things. The other person feels like, almost like that begging type of energy and doesn't feel great. Um, when you are on the receiving side, um, so you so it, it just the, the energy keeps sh shifting back and forth, um, and maybe also because it's it's about the money, like pentacles. Over here is about pentacles as well, but this is more this is more about juggling. So maybe over here, um, it's also about like um, you know, so both of them has that financial type of. Um, 
consideration as well. But for this person, it feels like financially it's a little bit more, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's better versus over here, you're still trying to decide and you're still trying to juggle things and stability wise, this one financially is probably a less stable than this one. Um, and sometimes, and also for this person over here, sometimes you guys are try to control the other person using money, right? As a mean of control. Um, so like one person will pay a little bit more and then you get like, you're like, oh my God, um, you're paying, I'm always paying, maybe it's your turn. Um, so you have you do have that kind of like little competitive thing going on however in general you are working towards the same goal um, the only thing is like you might feel a little bit more geared toward this person only because of the um, there's a major arcana with this person um, and this is both the, the the little the minor arcana and so it's like the little daily minor things um, <laughs> And maybe you're the type of person that gears very much towards somebody who is um, that needs a lot of help like so you like to feel needed okay for pile number three people you like to feel needed you like to feel useful you like to give okay um, I think you're learning to receive now but you like to give okay um, and so the person that needs you the most, I feel like that's who you're drawn to more. And that's probably person A. Um, but I do have to say person A and person B, just the fact that these, you're working together as a team. And six is all about harmony, right? Um, even though like over here is 14, yeah, it's 14 is about five, so it's change. Two is about harmony as well, you know, pairing up and that kind of thing. But you got two sixes, there's synchronicities over here. And so like, I'm feeling a little bit more harmonious relationship over here. There's not as dramatic things going on with person B, even though there's challenges, there's packages, but you are working together to get past it. And there are people like, you know, gossiping about you. That's why I like, totally. You guys are staying on the down low a little bit, okay? Um, maybe because one person, probably you, the viewer, is a little bit better off financially um, than this person that you're inquiring about, both of them. I feel both of them is not as fi financially stable than you, the viewer. You are a little bit better off financially compared to the two people that you're talking, you're, you're inquiring about. Um, and so like, sometimes maybe the other person feels like um, they don't wanna take that money from you. They feel like maybe they're taking advantage of you and maybe you do feel that a little bit, but um, but definitely on the, uh, like people from the outside looking in, they'll be like, oh, okay, um, that's, uh, you are their sugar mama or sugar daddy and you don't want people to see you guys' relationship like that, okay? Um, but <clears throat> but emotionally, you feel geared towards person A just because you like to feel that need, being needed. Um, whereas this one, you work as a team. So I would say like if between person A and person B, from the cards, person B is probably a better fit just because of the harmonious energy over here. Although, you know, you got the temperance, you're, you are working together, you're very good at communication. So it's very hard to decide. It, this is pretty equal. Um, let's do, let's draw a card for each of the people. We'll see what their, the advices are, okay? So here's the advice for person A. Situation will improve. Okay. And person B. What are some advices for person? 
person. This fell out, but it's kind of on the reverse. But it says it's big happy changes, so it's uh, um, reversed. Okay, let's do this one. Deserve love, but it reads uh, on the reversed. And then, okay, the oracle cards usually I don't rever read reversals, but I just want to put the put it out, put it out, okay, in the way that it fell out. Go for some keys. Very similar cards. Okay. <clears throat> Our requited love. So funny. Huh. What did I say? I feel like you are geared more towards person A. So again, this card, I feel like it's for the person that you're inquiring about. They actually like you a little bit more than you like them. Because between person A and person B, you are gearing more towards person A. So definitely you don't, you're not as attracted to person B even though you're, you are you do have pretty harmonious energy together. Um, so I feel like it just means that you're not as attracted to person B as you are attracted to person A just because like I said, you are the type of person that you really like to feel needed. Um, but there is big happy changes. So but it's reversed. So so if you do choose this person, it might change. You might like you might start to like them more and more. Okay? So that is something that it needs to be worked on. But at the moment, you are not as attracted to person B as you are to person A. And this says the in situation will improve and I feel like the situation will improve only if you feel like you deserve love right now you kind of let this person's emotion um, take over you so you're being kind of controlled by this person's emotion um, so if this person feels down, so it's a little bit of like that codependency feel. Whereas like, cause you, you like to feel needed. So whenever they're feeling really down, you're like, oh my God, that motherly or fatherly uh, feeling of like taking care of somebody makes you feel good. But, but is this person giving that, giving you back that same kind of love back, right? If you are feeling down, can this person take care of you? You have to think about that, okay? So, and I feel that's why this came out in reverse because um, have you told this person, you, you do have very good communication, but that's mostly on this person telling you stuff. Are you telling them how you feel, what you need, okay? Because there is this juggling thing that like you're putting yourself maybe a little bit less lower than the other person, okay? Um, and so I feel like you might need to tell them what you really, really feel. And yes, it's good to help them get out of this bad like stress or sickness, worry, whatever this person um, thing but you have your dark side too, your thing, your needs that needs to be fulfilled. And I feel like a, a relationship would only work when you actually get it, you know, you share emotions, thoughts together equally and not one person burdening you 
with all of their emotions and then leaving you unsatisfied and unfulfilled. Okay, so that's what I feel for pers uh, pile number three, person A and person B. Um, so I, for you, I know you're gearing more towards A, but from the card's point of view, person B might be a better fit. Um, but of course, we always, we never go with what people tell us to do, right? Um, and I, 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 I think people should do whatever your heart feels that you wanted to do. So if you feel like person A is your person, then um, you do need to work on expressing your needs to this other person instead of keeping keep fulfilling their needs and taking care of them. Let them take care of you as well. Have that little exchange. But um, in terms of exchange, I feel like you actually have a better exchange over here because it's a lot more harmonious give and take. You're working towards the same thing, but this person likes you a little bit more. So it's very similar to pile two people's A and B that um, this might be your first choice. This is your second choice. Um, some, it's a safer choice versus the riskier choice, right? Because you might get hurt more over here. Um, but uh, so, but that's what I see for the cards. Okay, so let me know if it helped you to make a decision. If not, then I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we need to do a private reading or something like that. But this is a general reading and let me know if this resonated with you. And if you have, if your other person is actually in the other piles, then um, let me know that too, right? You could even have like three people. So you have like two in this pile and then another one in another pile. But um, in terms of uh, this particular pile, let me know if this resonated with you or not, you can leave in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.